Mr. Karale Musonda. Besides me is my wife, Ngara Musonda. Uh, this is not the first time that we are here. Uh, of course, my in-laws are part of this church. Uh, my first encounter with this church was in 2019, right? Yeah. Uh, it's happened that I gave my life to Christ in 2018. Then uh, uh, my life had been uh, one of stagnation, failure, uh, especially at the point of breakthrough and so on. Uh, so I was invited to this church to come and meet with the man of God. That was in 2019. And uh, there was a the deliverance. So he prayed for my papers, my business papers, my academic papers, and so on. And surprisingly, uh, surprisingly uh, by then I was working as a lecturer and I was holding a position of uh, head of department. It so happened that during that same time, before I came here, I had participated in the elections, the university elections for a position of a dean, uh, which out of 38 uh, faculty members, uh, 35 voted for me, and I qualified to be a dean. But again, because of the spirit of uh, failure, the, I was told by the university council that I cannot be the dean, uh, despite winning the elections. So by then, uh, my spiritual eyes had started opening, and I knew this was not uh, 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 this was a spiritual battle. So I came here. The, the God servant delivered me, and of course, I went back home, and we continued to engage in prayer as a family. And uh, to my surprise, the position that I that they said I could not uh, hold, it was given to me with an apology. And uh, also, at the same time, before that, I had a lot of plots, and uh, nothing was happening. And after the deliverance, uh, what happened was, uh, with no substantial increase in income, we started building. And uh, I knew that my spiritual battles were over. And uh, in 2021, no, 2021, in 2021, uh, I got a call for investors that needed someone to to take a, to take over the position of finance manager. These are not small investors; these are big investors. Uh, where the chairman the chairman is uh, French. Uh, uh, we manage uh, investment funds for the Finnish government and the Dutch government and other investors. So it also came as a shock because I did not apply for, apply for that job. And uh, I looked back and said, uh, it is because of the progression that I was making in the spiritual spiritual life. Uh, that was then. Then uh, w the company that I'm working for, there is a sister company also which appears to be highly stagnated uh, despite we have pushed for for funding where funding has been approved but it is not uh, forthcoming and these are not small amounts we are talking about 5.8 million dollars approved but uh, this is not coming forth and uh, other small facilities that we have done for this company which is not coming forth so and apparently the same company, the sister company to my company, uh, experienced that is experiencing a lot of challenges. The shareholders for this other sister company are actually Indians, and uh, they strongly believe in my faith. And uh, uh, yesterday, yesterday actually, yeah, so we were discussing. Then they said, uh, you know, uh, Martin, there is something spiritual that is holding the company from going forward. We know you are a spiritual person. Can you help? Yeah. So they had a different version of spiritual help. Uh, so I could discern that uh, maybe they were thinking of maybe a witch doctor or something to come and clean the place. So I said, no. Uh, uh, there is my father in Shingola that uh, can help with his uh, case. So we had to print the company certificate. Then I got their their passport size photos, which I attached. 
uh, that is on their part. Then also on my, on my part, uh, there is something very big in the pipeline, appointment in the government, which has stored since April. Yeah, it's, it's, it's there, but uh, things are moving very slow. So I realize, uh, realize that this is an opportunity that uh, I need to come and meet the man of God. And I believe that uh, these things will come to will come to pass. Yeah. So when I shared with my wife, uh, she said I'm coming along. We had the issue of picking up kids, but we made arrangements, and we, we made it here before before 14. And uh, going by my previous experience uh, with uh, what is happening here, I totally believe that uh, stagnation for my colleagues, uh, business failure, financial failure at the point of breakthrough, uh, even the delay in my appointment, I believe that this has come to, to, to an end. a unique encounter with uh, the Holy Spirit. Uh, I didn't expect that it, it would come so powerfully. Yeah, I'm sure you saw I went down uh, three or four times and no exaggeration. Uh, uh, it was a spiritual force that, uh, that I encountered. Uh, I think stronger than the previous one. I think maybe the man of God was annoyed like this this should be the last one yeah uh, it came so powerfully i felt it i'm still feeling it uh, i'm convinced beyond reasonable doubt that uh, more than what i came for has been delivered uh, of course in my family there's a lot of witchcraft uh, not small witchcraft big witchcraft this is what has been holding my my progression in almost everything and true, I started. I became born again, and I started uh, started praying. Uh, from time to time, I experience this uh, family witchcraft and so on. And I believe that today, all this is gone. is greater than you. What else have you done to our life? Apart from holding a career. Huh? You have killed her. But she's existing. She's alive. What do you mean when you say you've killed her? Her spirit is there. You mean you've already summoned her spiritually? Huh? Fight in the mighty name of Jesus. It is time you leave this woman.
been coming frequently until uh, I think uh, distance became a challenge when we moved to Ndola. But previously, when we were staying in Kitu and Kalushi, I would be here. And uh, during the times I would come, I would see the change uh, that I was looking for in, in my uh, life. Uh, but uh, one thing that has been uh, on my mind and on my heart is the issue of my career. Uh, at first, um, I, I had a diploma in EMIS, uh, but then uh, every time I'd apply personally, I'd be told uh, that qualification no longer exists in Zambia. But I'd find out that people who I was with at school with the same papers would get jobs and uh, until I decided to uh, change my course, I started pursuing a degree in accounts of which um, I started doing distance with the hope that I would get a job. But that has not happened and uh, I'm in my last year. So I would try and uh, mainly it's uh, at the point of breakthrough. You know, you go, they promise you start work on this day and it just doesn't happen. So I thank God we came today. And uh, I can feel it that uh, things have changed. I am very hopeful because uh, there's a lot that has been revealed. Uh, there's direction on how I should pray, uh, especially when it comes to my name. Yeah. So I, I thank God I came here today. There's always the right time. There's no wrong time. This is, was the right time for me to get my career breakthrough and for my husband as well. Uh, this is the right place, you know. Uh, we have been given a platform where, despite our different denominations, we can come here and worship and receive deliverance. I think the thing about Pastor Mlinga is that he welcomes everyone. He won't ask you, where are you from? As long as you come and you are ready to be prayed for, he'll pray for you. And uh, people should just uh, be ready. You know, we we want to label uh, churches uh, depending on what we hear from others, but it's better you come and have your own experience, then you'll find the answers. That's why we keep on coming here. Uh, I'll start by saying, I'm one person who never believed in deliverance. I'm one person who never believed in uh, prayers. Uh, in fact, uh, years back, whenever there is, uh, on Sundays I used to go for politics. So I'll be holding uh, rallies and so on, doing politics, and uh, I would speak so badly against the uh, uh, people, people of God, yeah. I judge them so wrongly. Uh, so is with many other people that I used to associate with. Never believed in uh, deliverance, especially Pentecostal prayers. But uh, I'm a living testimony. There are so many people who know me, actually, who would also testify that actually my life has taken a very drast drastic change, positive change, all because of uh, prayer. Business-wise, before I became born again and before I, I, I got delivered, business-wise, I tried everything. I used to live here in Shingola. I tried the copper business and so on. Uh, but I didn't know what was happening. Until my, I started thinking like something was wrong. I had a very big contract in uh, Kawe. Uh, there's a company called the Sebo Zinc, uh, where the company was under receivership, and uh, they had cobalt nitrate that they needed to sell. So I had to sign the contract uh, from Switzerland with the GM uh, for the same company, Mr. Litterford. He's a white man, and everyone was actually white. My contract was signed in Switzerland, and they gave me the contract to market that cobalt hydrate, which I did market using my connections. Uh, this I was I'm, I'm very very forceful person, so I went uh, flat out, and I found the Chinese uh, client. Everything went well. My share was supposed to be ten percent. Ten percent was coming to three hundred sixty thousand US dollars. Uh, Everything went well. I went there. The cobalt was, was taken and so on. So I went to see the GM, uh, Little Ford. I've come for my money. Then he said, you know, I, 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 even me, I don't know what has happened. 
uh, your pe the people that you brought, their president, the company president, made the arrangement with my brothers in Switzerland, so you and me have lost out. I went to Kawe, hoping that I'll come back with a brand new Hilux or something, but it never happened. At that point, I started uh, looking back, like uh, something was extraordinary here. Uh, I tried so many things. They never worked. Um, an SCCA order, I owed a master's degree from Copperbelt University, uh, doing my PhD with Wunze. But I can testify that despite at the time having uh, high qualifications as SCCA and a master's degree, they were not speaking. Until I committed to God, uh, these documents were prayed for. And like I said earlier on, uh, they started speaking. Yeah, uh, the struggle that I had to be elevated from the position of HOD in university to the position of a dean, it was all because of prayers. Yeah. So my encouragement is that uh, not even people should not even think of trying. It's the issue of making a decision to to serve God, and there is more joy actually and happiness in serving God. And uh, the life is peaceful in uh, every area. Uh, the devil actually is out there and uh, is declared war against uh, us. Uh, most of the people like me we are coming from families of serious witchcraft. Uh, and destinies have encouraged serious affliction and so on. But uh, God is the answer. And here, uh, when the first time I met Pastor uh, Felix Mulenga, I could feel it. You know, you go to places where you like, we, we tried in some places in Chitabombe years back. You feel it before the service could end, you were like, uh, nothing is happening here. But that's not the case with uh, this place. I felt it, and I still connected with the pastor, uh, my mother-in-law, became a frequent member of this church until she died. My father-in-law still comes here. So this is our church. Yeah. And we will never stop associating with the church. Uh, in whatever way, going forward, we will be there to support the church programs as well.